Mayena, you. good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming on yes. and speaking about this. Uh, so let's talk about Dexter. Um, tell us your story. When I mean, Dexter was originally born as Talia. Is that correct? Talia. As Talia. Mm -hmm. As Talia. Yeah. As Talia. Um, when were the first signs for you, and more importantly, Dexter, that maybe he was in the wrong body? So it started at roughly two and a half. Um, I can't remember exactly because mm -hmm. obviously he's eight and a half now, so it feels like a very long time course, ago. But yeah. um, it, it's not like he walked... I think this is the common misconception with people. He didn't walk up to us at two and a half and say, I'm transgender, mm -hmm. I was born in the wrong body. It started off with a real protest about wearing knickers and wanting to wear boxer shorts. OK. So, um, so fine, I just bought boxer shorts, no big deal. And then he was just heavily into Marvel, superheroes, Avengers, that kind of stuff. Um, and again, it's just clothing. So I have a childcare background. I've been a nursery nurse for 28 years. I just kind of let children lead. And I just thought, where's the harm? If you mm. want to wear a Hulk T-shirt, you know, Oh, completely. Of, I think yeah, that's it. totally... Um, I, I think people would totally mm. get that, you know. I mean, I was saying to Rochelle earlier, when I was younger, I used to love putting my mum's big flowy skirt on and spinning around because yeah. it was like the parachute we used Absolutely. to play with at school. But... And why is that wrong? Exactly, but I'm and not saying not that wrong. is wrong. No, no, I know, yeah. But um, where was the line where this turned so into I thought wanting it to was wear a knickers phase. and become... I just thought, oh, it's a phase. And I was a tomboy growing mm -hmm. up uh, pretty much till I was about 30, to be honest. <laughs> um, so I was never a girly girl. So I just thought, oh, he's a tomboy, you know, that, or she's a tomboy, that's fine. Um, and then it was actually my friend Kathy in the States that had been going on for sort of 18 months and she said, do you think that she could be transgender? And I just said, oh, no, it's just a phase. We're just not, you know, we're not making a big deal out of it. Let's just go with it. Um, well, that's kind of what you do as a parent, because obviously you want, to, you want to support your child through anything. And, and we're told, aren't we, to just go with it. Whatever it is in, in mm. life, all the different milestones, they will find the way, just let them take the lead. I, I'm very much, I mean, I'm a childminder, so I'm very child-led in my job and in my home life. And I just think, actually, who is he hurting by <laughs> wearing, you know, boxer shorts no, and... That's, and no, that's totally. Bo ..so-called boys' clothing, I mean... You know, without going too far the other way, I think we have gone a bit mad that we gender everything. Yeah. Um, but, you know, why can't girls like Batman and why can't boys like unicorns? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, be, be true to yourself. And all I've ever wanted for my children is for them to be happy. And I think um, that goes for, 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 every, for every parent, parent completely. Yeah. Absolutely. But where was that line, that I moment think... where it went, this isn't a phase, this isn't the fact that she enjoys wearing boxes mm -hmm. and enjoys Marvel, She's when actually she a said, boy. When she said to me, um, Dexter's never been a sleeper, so he, um, he is awake quite a lot in the night for several hours. Mm -hmm. um, and he used to say to me in the night, why did you make me wrong, Mummy? Why did you not make me with a willy? OK. And at four years old, you're not taught to say mm -hmm. that. That's mm -hmm. obviously something that comes from within. And that's really heartbreaking, obviously, when you're sleep deprived as well on top yeah, of that. Of um, so that was really, really hard. And so, so you realising it was it's bigger than that. This is not um because like I say, I was a tomboy. I wanted to be a boy, mm -hmm. but I never felt like I was a boy. I wanted to play with all those boys' toys and but I never ever felt wrong in my body. I knew I was a girl. Mm -hmm. And it just meant when these things kept coming up, like he would put a willy on his Christmas list. That really? was the top oh, of the thing. Me. Right. And I thought, this is not just your tomboy, there's something else going this on here. This is different, here. yeah. Um, and there was lots of other issues going on, like wetting himself during the day a lot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, bed wetting, which we still have. And, um, and I, so I went to seek the advice of the GP. And at first she said, um, I'm going to check all the physical things. So that's what they did. And then mm. she said, come back. And she said, I know nothing about this, so I'm please let me go away and speak to the senior doctors. Came back on the Monday and she said, I, I'm going to refer you to the Tavistock because she said, we believe there are gender identity mm -hmm. issues here. Which is well, an amazing It's amazing, amazing place, that you've had that support. The Tavistock's Absolutely. It really is. Yeah. Um, Claire, you, you kind of... You feel totally opposite, don't you? You feel that it's kind of dangerous to give children so much choice. I'm a mum of four. OK, mm -hmm. I love and I think what you've said is amazing. I think the support you've given your child, Dexter, is second to none. And that's what parents do. Mm -hmm. And that's what we hope all parents mm -hmm. would do. 
However, I do think, though, especially given what's happened at the Tavistock, five senior clinicians have resigned over the past couple of months, actually, which is funded by the NHS because they are deeply concerned about the treatment of transgender children, especially under the age of 14, 16. And I think by giving your child as much freedom to express what they feel their gender um, should or ought to be, I think could be harmful and I think in some cases it could be seen as abdicating your parental responsibility to give your child that power to identify whichever gender they perceive themselves to be. But then the alternative, Claire, is, which you don't obviously know because you don't live it firsthand, is that I had an incredibly miserable daughter. When I look back, every picture that I have of Talia, every home video I have, that was an incredibly miserable child. I now have a very, very happy eight-and-a-half-year-old son. And I know you won't understand that, it. It's not for me to understand, but I hope that continues. Absolutely. But the but evidence is there to support. The scientific evidence oh, is sometimes there to support. Absolutely. That but transitioning from such an early age, if they start getting these hormones, they're irreversible. Yeah, but stop right there. Everybody transitions in a different way, so nobody is suggesting that every single child that goes through that system will transition, will have hormones... Every, 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 will single, have... every single case, when it comes down to a transgender child, a transgender uh -huh. adult, is completely it's different. Completely and different. everyone's got their own story. But, Mayanna, I do need to ask you the question, because I know there'll be a lot of viewers mm -hmm. at home mm -hmm. that will be thinking this. What happens if Dexter grows up, gets to about 14, 15 and goes... Mum, Actually, why have you let girl? me do this? Mm -hmm. Why, like, why have you let well, me? Do well, we this? talk very openly with Dexter all every every now and again. So it's an open conversation mm -hmm. in our house. If ever you want to um, go back to living as the gender that you were born as, that's absolutely fine. We'll transition. Only a few weeks ago, he got very upset. Said that he liked sometimes um, girls' things. We went to a, okay. a shop and we bought two girls' outfits that he chose. He was very embarrassed about it, mm. um, and then. At the weekends, I lay out a, a set of boys' clothes and a set of girls' clothes, and he chooses. And for two weekends on a trot, he chose the girls' clothes. Mm -hmm. He hasn't done that since. I Listen, the easiest thing in the world for me is if my son were to say, actually, Mum, I am a girl. Of course. Because of course. then yeah. that... Yeah. Mayenna, do, do you have other children? Yeah, I have another daughter. Did, did you lay out clothes, different different styles of clothes for your daughter? My daughter was never, again, never dressed as a girly girl. I always allowed her to, you know, from as early age as she was very into picking her own things from an early age. So, so again, the same as Dexter, then? Yeah, but she's not... She doesn't have gender identity issues mm -hmm. and she doesn't... Um, and, and this is not the same. She's very comfortable in her own skin as a female. And what about schooling for Dexter? Does Dexter present as a boy? He presents as a boy fully. Not to, okay. I mean, and how, how's, the, mm. Mayana, how's the school and, and, and his class friends been? So yeah. he's che we ha we've always had phenomenal amounts of support, very, very minimal negative um, comments well, towards good. this. Very, so we're really good. lucky. And got I a lot feel... of comments coming today, mm. actually. And since, um, since I came on the programme last time with Dexter, I actually recognised a need to um, support other families and I've since set up a support group called Acceptance UK mm -hmm. and we, I support every month we have a meet-up and I, I'm sub currently supporting over 50 families. Mm, so is it the families you're supporting or the children? And both. They both come. We all come together. It's very informal. Coffee and chat. We play board games. We get together. Helping them through what is, for a lot of families, a very different situation. A very di and everybody's journey's different. Mm. Um, um, we've um, had so many comments, Mariana, as you can imagine. Uh, Owen says, surely the point of parenting is to create a safe and loving environment for children to grow up in. That's all Charlize Theron is doing. Her child will grow up knowing uh, they have unconditional love and support. Why is that Absolutely. so awful? Emma says, my seven-year-old can't decide what cereal to have for breakfast or what colour top to wear, let alone making a life-changing decision about well, her gender. it's not life-changing. I think this is the thing we need to be very clear about. I'm not saying my son is transgender. Transgender is a word that is easy for everybody to identify mm. yes. with. I have a child that has gender identity dysphoria, and if you like, or has honest, had... Mayana, I mean, we've, we've got time on this, so we are going to have to finish mm -hmm. there, but we could literally talk about this for hours. Oh, but, really ult really but ultimately, cares. is Dexter happy? He's a happy kid. And do you know what? And what end of. What end of. And if, again... We will just support his happiness. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. You are a very, very, very supportive mum, you. you really thank are. You. Thank you both. Thanks very Thanks, much. Yeah.